King Milutin is my least favorite Serb king. I would describe him as Serbian Henry VIII. His private life overshadowed his reign. King Milutin ruled Serbia between 1282 and 1321. Even his ascent to the throne was controversial. Milutin was the younger son. The throne went to his older brother, Dragutin, in 1276. In 1282, Dragutin hurt his leg while hunting. Dragutin abdicated and left the throne to Milutin. Why? Dragutin had a son. So why not leave the throne to him? Why abdicate if he only hurt his leg? The leg wasn't abdicated as far as we know. One theory says that the leg was just an excuse. Dragutin continued ruling over the part of the land. Dragutin and Milutin later fought one another over the crown. Dante Alighieri put Milutin in hell in his Divine Comedy. Milutin earned his place for counterfeiting a nation money. The list of Milutin's wives is disputed. He might have been married three, four or five times. We know the names of four of his children. Their mother's identities are disputed. We know for sure that Stefan was the eldest son. Daughters were Anna Neda and Zorica or Tsaritsa. The youngest son was Konstantin. Wife number one might be Jelena, Serb noblewoman. She would be the mother of Stefan. Jelena died before Milutin became a king. Jelena might have been the mother of Anna Neda too. Milutin's second or first wife might have been unnamed daughter of John Duca of Thessaly. She apparently had no children with Milutin. Now we start with more controversial details. At one point in his life, Milutin married a Bulgarian princess. Her name was Anna Terter. Some historians think Anna was the mother of Stefan, Anna Neda and Konstantin. At one point in his life, Milutin was involved with Hungarian princess Elizabeth. Why am I saying involved instead of married? One source claims Milutin had several wives at the same time. This would make him a polygamist. Polygamy is not allowed in Orthodox Church. Elizabeth might have been Milutin's concubine. But Elizabeth was the daughter of Hungarian king. Her sister was married to Byzantine emperor. Why would they let Elizabeth be concubine? Well, it depends on the timeline of the marriage. Between 1288 and 1290, Elizabeth was married to Zavish of Falkenstein. In 1290, Zavish was executed. Marriage of Milutin and Elizabeth might have been before 1288 or after 1290. One source states that Serbian Orthodox Church refused to recognize the marriage. The reason was that Elizabeth's sister was married to Milutin's brother. The church believes that two brothers cannot be married to two sisters. One Latin source claims that Milutin had no children with his first three wives. The problem is that they don't say who those wives were. Serb historians think Zorica Tsaritsa was Elizabeth's daughter. One source says that Milutin and Elizabeth had a daughter with unusual name. Tsaritsa means empress. Naming your child empress would be considered unusual. Zorica is now a common name in Serbia. Zorica means little dawn. Some Latin sources don't mention marriage of Milutin and Elizabeth at all. Elizabeth spent most of her life at nunnery. Zavish of Falkenstein kidnapped Elizabeth from the nunnery. 
Catholic Church in Hungary venerated Elizabeth as blessed. Julian was canonized as saint by Serbian Orthodox Church. Catholic chronicles wouldn't want Bless Elizabeth to be connected to Milutin. Many believe that Elizabeth was Milutin's second or third wife. Milutin wouldn't marry Elizabeth after 1290 because he had nothing to gain. Milutin was very ambitious. In 1299, Milutin divorced Anna to marry Byzantine princess. Byzantine Empire was in decline. Milutin forced Byzantine Emperor to give him a princess for a wife. There were two princesses available. Adult princess refused to marry Milutin. Simonida Simonis was only five years old when she married Milutin. Some sources say Milutin treated Simonida as a daughter. Byzantine sources tell otherwise. They depict Milutin as molester. Simonida is most visible among Milton's wives. Simonida outlived Milton. They never had children together. Serbs say the marriage was never consumed. Byzantine sources say Simonida was left barren due to the abuse she suffered as a child. In case you wonder, was Simonida niece of Elizabeth? Elizabeth's sister was married to Byzantine Emperor. Elizabeth's sister died young and her widower remarried. Simonida was born in his second marriage. Elizabeth and Simonida weren't related. Though Simonida was half-sister of Elizabeth's nephews. Simonida is today best known for her fresco in Grudanica Monastery. After Milutin died, Simonida became a nun. Milutin had to make a mess out of his succession. In 1314, Milutin quarreled with his heir, Stefan. Stefan was exiled and blinded. Blind and disabled people couldn't rule in Serbia. Constantine became the heir apparent. In 1321, Milutin died. There was a civil war between Stefan, Constantine and their cousin Vladislav II. Vladislav II was the son of Dragutin. In 1322, Constantine was killed in a battle. Stefan became the king of Serbia. Serb historians praise Milutin for building monasteries. I say he had to do it because of his long list of sins. No other Serb king had such crazy private life. I wonder if the situation would have been even worse if he had more historical sources. This was the private life of King Milutin.